Eh, hapa ni usiku wa sana na tumepigwa simu tukiwa na wenzangu kuna mama amepata sinda. Sasa tutakuja hapa ili tupeleke hospitali. Ikiwa atafika mahali ya kujifugua tunasaidia hiyo tunafanya training sisi tu tu tutafanya hiyo kasi. Kwa majina yangu naitwa Simon Peter Waweru. Haya nao niko hapa ni bibi yangu na msichana wangu mdogo. Kwa majina anaitwa Julia na huyu ni banangu. Nilikuwa siku moja na nilikuwa na miba. Usiku kama saa 4 hivi nikashikwa na riba. Nilimwamsha banangu juu alikuwa amefika tu. Alikuwa ameenda kusaidia mama mwingine kujifungua. Alikuwa amempeleka hospitali. Sasa vile alirudi kulikuwa kumenyesha. Mi nikamwekea chakula akakula na akaoga akaenda akalala. Mi kuoga ni kwenda kulala. Nikasikia uchungu. Sasa ndio nilichukua simu nikaita ni bangu akakuja. Nikamwelezea venye nasikia. Ndio aliniambia ni muamshe banangu ndio twende. Kumuamsha akaniambia pikipiki haiwezi enda. Sasa nikashindwa tutafanyaje? Nikamwambia ni lazima twende. Ndio aliamka, akachukua panga, akafungilia kwa pikipiki ya kwenda akitoa matope. Sasa nikusukuma pikipiki na sisi tulikuwa tunatembea. Bila tuli tulitamka na hapa chini mimi nikashindwa na kutembea kabisa. Nikamwambia sasa mimi siwezi enda tena. Hapo ndio nilichifungua mtoto wangu. Siku ya kwanza mi mtoto wangu huyu nilimuosha matope. Ndio aliaguka kwa matope na kulikuwa kunanyesha. Hata nilikuwa naomba Mungu tu anisaidie. Juni nilikuwa ninasikia niko wiki kabisa. Kwa naona kama nitakufa mimi. Lakini Mungu alinisaidia na kasaidia mtoto wangu. Sasa ndio huyu. Na tuko wazima. Majini tu Danson Mothea. Saidi yote nimeokoka. Kristo ni bwana na ngome. Huyu ni, ni mtoto wangu ambaye niliwacho naye mke wangu alikuwa ameaga dunia. Alikuwa anaitwa Frida Mshai. Mama alijifungua salama na akaendelea almost miezi mitatu kutaka kujifungua. Akawa asiki vizuri. Ndio nilipigia simu nikiwa Mombasa nikakuja na kaza kushulika mambo ya stalini na kushulika akawa amepata dozi na akawa saa na matibabu tukawa tumekuja nyumbani lakini on saturday hiyo september ni nio saturday september 13 akawa ameanza kuzidiwa na kuzidiwa sasa kutafuta means za gari shida hapa ni shida gari hata ikawa sana na rafiki yangu ambaye ndio Simon nikajaribu kumpigia simu kama anazapata mtu wa gari kawa shida. Sasa hata ile alipoisikia ni ugonjwa akafanya juu chini kuna mali alitafuta gari fulani. Akakuja nayo. Hii pia ilikuwa pia too late. Na nikawa nimempoteza mke wangu. Mke wangu mwenyewe alikuwa jambo la kwanza ni alikuwa anampenda Mungu, mtu wa maombi sana, mwimbaji sana. So wana la misi hiyo kuimba kwa wake sana. Kwa majina naitwa Joyce Mogo. Naishi tu hapa Kagago. Kama mtu ni mjamzito kutoka hapa hadi Vika utasalia tu barabara. Na watu wanakufa kutoka hapa kwenda Vika wewe ama mtoto. 
kwanza mimi mimi ndiye niliteseka sana kupata mtoto kwa sababu kulikuwa na mvua kuenda barabara ni shida hata nikafanywa CS na sijafanywa kwa majina ni Judy wa Mbulimaina nafanya kasi community health worker na nimetembea hii kijiji kwa mama Mwaura ako na mimba akaniambia na kula miguu nilimuuliza kama ameenda hospitali kutimbiwa clinic akaniambia ameanza na siku yake ni ya kesho nikaona tuende leo nikamchukua tukaenda ndio tora tora hospitali na hake moto baiki yako akora webere na niga munyitirira buthio tuthia ni ndu akuhinyiriria no kona ukona ngari iri ngari tukiko tukarite wega egitigi yake na ndigitigi yake kiliniki ninya daga mutumi enada gakone dia dihuake gerutira guthihuake riga de muoni uhoro wa guthikiri kiliniki ndurite de community health worker for italy ndida korongi de support hado no ni kuruta duta gavira ndida koro hado de support ati besa asa ni ko ibuaga no ni ngira ngai ndigutigana na wira uyu uthi na bena koru na koruta wakati anaomba anafanya overtaking ni lazima atoke kwa hiyo yero ndio ile ya kupanda hiyo hawezi overtake lakini yule anaweza ndio kija hivi hapo imekatika katika na pia uwezi overtake kona kwa majina naitwa Wilson Mwangi na fanya hii kazi ya boda boda ndio nitatia riziki ya kila siku hizi vitu azifanyi zingine my name is a couple rider Maurice Odera I'm attached to Makuyu traffic base. I'm a rider. Jabu nimesikia muhimu sana ni kujua mambo ya safety, mambo ya barabara mataka manako nimepata ajali sana. When one is called during night time maybe to render such services as maybe by taking somebody to hospital is supposed to be in a a recommended riding gears is supposed to have a reflective jacket uh, the the motorbike is also supposed to be serviceable the headlights are working indicators uh, he's supposed to wear gloves and then on, on top of that the pillion passenger must also be given a, another helmet and a reflective jacket upande wa kuwasaidia mama wa jawazito tuko na shida sana ya barabara huko na ndio sababu unasikia tuna tunatoka nje ya sanduku kidogo tunawembea wakiwa wawili. Juu lazima huyu mama ashikiliwe. Njia ni mbaya, rami imeanza tu hapa. Lakini kuanzia kilomita karibu nane hivi ni njia corrugation. Sasa inabidi saa zingine tunavunja sheria kidogo tunawembea wakiwa wawili, watatu hivi eh. Yeah. 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 Ah, sasa pikipiki haina taa na inataka kupeleka mama hospitali. You find that they shy away from meeting police officers because they don't have driving licenses maybe somebody is not qualified something like that so you cannot it's not easy for you to maybe assemble them and maybe enlighten them on road safety matters <laughs> 